Howdy. Design is kind of a funny thing. You know, I did this job quite a few years ago, and when I pulled up, it took me a little while to realize that, oh, these posts are indeed tapered. Now, if they were not tapered, it would look very skinny and top heavy. And so it's just really weird. It's, it's kind of fun and it's challenging in working design, whether it's the timbers or the buildings or the window, the big scope. It's all part of the fun. And when you hit that sweet spot, you can just kind of feel it. And we're gonna talk more about that inside. Really kind of a cool feeling I had before we started the design. I could just kind of sense it, just kind of almost smell it. That this could be really cool. And we'll show you more inside. Okay, so here we are on the inside. And this is really a unique space. You can tell it's got volume. The whole thing, 20 foot high ceilings, okay? And when we started out, this had a trellis. Just the architect had a placeholder trellis kind of set over the kitchen, as well as one that went from wall to wall right here, just all at one level. And as we were looking at this, I didn't get really explicit instructions that this is exactly what we want. We just wanted something cool and I caught a whiff. It was gonna be good. The thing that really broke this idea where the doing inspiration hits is the higher trellis right from the entry over. And bringing that and creating that, when you come through the entry, you're just like, wow, you're, you're, en you're enveloped in this and you can feel the, the warmth, the stability, everything about it. That also allowed us to eliminate a post here in the kitchen, which is kind of a big deal. And then the, the focal point here, then with the, the bar and the pieces coming over and the arched trellis pieces, first go round, this was pretty much there. Here we're looking at a mantle that is a tongue and fork on the corners, three-sided, the two kind of supporting corbels. And looking at it right here and right now, it looks natural, it looks good. What isn't seen is all the decisions to get here. There were many different configurations for the chimney and trying to figure out what is gonna fit this eclectic style the best. The bricks were genius. That wasn't me, that was the owner, figuring out that, okay, bricks were gonna be kind of a little bit old world and still match a lot of the different textures. If you see around here, you'll see wallpaper, you'll see brick, you'll see hand brocade detailed or ornamental type of stucco texture. And the doors are all unique, all reclaimed. Every room kind of has its own theme. And this chimney dances to that tune with the brick and then the heavy timbers, of course, tied in with the rest of this everything that's going on around here. It would be a little bit bare with just the timbers in the center. Just a little pop right there really sets things off. And even if you were designing this, you might, you know, why isn't it lower? Should it be higher? What about tall ceilings? There's a lot of different things that go into getting things right. And more often than not, things get ideas on top of ideas and all sprouted out and then it simplifies and hmm, finds a sweet spot. So out back here, what I'd like to call your attention to is what's again not seen. This was originally drawn up as a gable coming out with your typical kind of timber truss, which is kind of a great place to start. No harm, no foul. Here's what happened as we got involved with the timbers. We're kind of drawn into this and pulled into it. Well, we're looking at the the style of the home itself, which has the big 20 foot ceilings inside and flat, and also the more, you say, ornate or European kind of blend with the timbers. And the low pitch in a gable, that speaks to craftsmen and other styles, not so much Mediterranean Euro style of timbers that you see with the darker timbers, the ornate things. And moving from a gable end to the hip, having the big overhangs and the taller ceilings was marching in lockstep with what's going on on the inside and even with the front. And you also notice 
The triple post, that's a Mediterranean design element you'll see time and time again. And then the curves that are just the decorative curves placed underneath the beams, that really smooths things out and makes it flow with the entry, which has curves and it just really softens things. And that's a little bit of the backstory to where this ended up from the original gable and how thinking outside the box and trying different ideas is great. Creativity oftentimes is more grunt work and producing a lot of ideas than the eureka moment.